The five most powerful active component functions in electronics. In electronics, an active component typically refers to a device or element that can control the flow of electrical current. Unlike passive components, such as resistors, capacitors, and inductors, active components have the ability to amplify signals, switch them on and off, or perform other signal processing functions. The most common types of active components are transistors and integrated circuits. Here are a few examples of active components and their functions. Transistors A bipolar junction transistor, BJD, is a three-layer semiconductor device that can be used as an amplifier, a switch, or a signal modulator. BJDs come in two main types, NPN, negative positive negative, and PNP, positive negative positive. These types refer to the arrangement of the semiconductor layers. The three layers of a BJD are Emitter, the layer where majority charge carriers, electrons for NPN and holes for PNP, are injected into the transistor. Base, this layer is thin compared to the other two layers. The base controls the flow of charge carriers from the emitter to the collector. The base current determines the collector current. Collector, majority charge carriers move through the collector layer. The collector current is the current flowing from the collector to the emitter. BJDs operate based on the principles of semiconductor physics, specifically the movement of charge carriers, electrons, and holes across the transistor's layers. The transistor can be in one of two main modes, the active mode for amplification or the cutoff slash saturation mode for switching. Amplification, active mode. In the active mode, a small input current at the base controls a much larger output current flowing from the collector to the emitter. This property makes BJDs suitable for amplification purposes. The ratio of the output current to the input current is known as the current gain, beta. Switching, cutoff, and saturation modes. In the cutoff mode, the transistor is turned off, and there is minimal current flow between the collector and emitter. In the saturation mode, the transistor is turned on, and there is maximum current flow between the collector and emitter. The operation of a BJD is often described by its characteristic curves, such as the collector current versus collector emitter voltage, IV, characteristic curves. These curves help engineers design circuits with specific operating points. BJDs are widely used in analog electronics for tasks such as amplification, signal processing, and oscillator circuits. They are also used in digital electronics, where they can function as switches and logic gates. However, in digital applications, field effect transistors, FETs, are often preferred over BJDs due to their advantages in terms of power consumption and speed. A field effect transistor, FET, is a three-terminal semiconductor device that uses an electric field to control the flow of electrical current. FETs are a type of transistor, like the bipolar junction transistor, BJD, but they operate on different principles. There are two main types of FETs, metal oxide semiconductor FETs, MOSFETs, and junction field effect transistors, JFETs. MOSFETs are more commonly used and are found in various electronic applications. MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor FET. Types of MOSFETs. In MOS, N-channel MOS electrons are the majority charge carriers. PMOS, P-channel MOS holes are the majority charge carriers. Basic structure. Gate, the terminal that controls the flow of current by applying an electric field. It is insulated from the semiconductor material by a thin oxide layer. Source, the terminal from which current enters the channel. Drain, the terminal through which current exits the channel. Operation, in MOS, in channel. When a positive voltage is applied to the gate with respect to the source, an electric field is created, attracting electrons from the source to form a conductive channel between the source and drain. Current flows from the source to the drain. PMOS, P-channel. When a negative voltage is applied to the gate with respect to the source, a conductive channel is formed for holes to flow from the source to the drain. Modes of operation. Cutoff. No current flows between the source and drain. Saturation. Maximum current flows between the source and drain. Triode. Linear intermediate current flow between cutoff and saturation. Advantages. High input impedance. Low output impedance consumes very little input power. Applications 
MOSFETs are widely used in digital integrated circuits ICs, such as microprocessors, memory devices, and logic gates. They are also used in analog applications such as amplifiers and voltage control devices. Junction Field Effect Transistor JFET. MOSFETs operate on similar principles but have a different structure compared to MOSFETs. They have a PN junction, and the electric field controls the width of the depletion region, thereby controlling the current flow between the source and the drain. In summary, FEDs are important electronic components used for signal amplification, switching, and voltage regulation. They offer advantages such as high input impedance, low output impedance, and low power consumption making them crucial in both digital and analog electronic circuits. Operational amplifiers, commonly known as op-amps, are highly versatile analog electronic devices that are widely used in electronic circuits for various applications. They are designed to amplify voltage signals and are known for their high input impedance, low output impedance, and differential inputs. Op-amps are often used to perform tasks such as amplification, signal conditioning, filtering, mixing, and mathematical operations. Here are some key characteristics and features of operational amplifiers. Symbols and terminals. The symbol for an op amp typically consists of a triangle, representing the amplifier, and two input terminals, inverting and non-inverting, as well as an output terminal. Differential inputs. Op amps have two input terminals, inverting and non-inverting plus. The output voltage is proportional to the voltage difference between these two inputs. High input impedance. Op amps typically have very high input impedance, which means they draw minimal current from the input source. Low output impedance. Op amps typically have low output impedance, allowing them to drive loads without significantly affecting the output voltage. Open loop and closed loop operation. In an open loop configuration, an op-amp amplifies the input signal without any feedback. In a closed-loop configuration, external feedback components, resistors, are used to control the gain and other characteristics of the amplifier. Ideal characteristics Infinite open-loop gain In reality, open-loop gain is very high, often in the range of tens of thousands or more. Infinite input impedance Practically, input impedance is very high. Zero output impedance In reality, output impedance is low. Zero common mode input voltage. In practice, common mode rejection is high. Common mode rejection ratio, CMRR. Op amps are designed to reject common mode signals, signals that are common to both inputs, and amplify only the differential signals. Power supplies. Op amps require dual power supplies, positive and negative, or a single supply with a virtual ground for proper operation. Applications. Op amps are used in a wide range of applications, including signal amplification, inverting and non inverting configurations, summing and differencing amplifiers, integrators and differentiators, filters, low pass, high pass, band pass, and band reject, voltage comparators, oscillators, voltage regulators, operational amplifier ICs. Op amps are available as discrete components. But integrated circuit, I see, packages containing one or more op amps are commonly used for convenience and reliability. Op amps play a crucial role in both analog and mixed signal electronic circuits, contributing to the design and functionality of a wide range of electronic systems. Their flexibility and performance make them essential components in modern electronics. Integrated circuits, ICs, also known as microchips or chips, are miniaturized electronic circuits consisting of semiconductor devices, such as transistors, diodes, resistors, capacitors, and interconnections, all fabricated on a single chip of semiconductor material. The integration of multiple electronic components onto a single substrate enables compact, reliable, and cost-effective electronic systems. ICs are the backbone of modern electronics and are used in a vast array of applications. Here are key aspects of integrated circuits. Advantages of ICs Miniaturization ICs allow the integration of thousands to millions of components on a single chip, reducing the size of electronic systems. Reliability The close proximity of components on a chip reduces the effects of external interference, enhancing reliability. Cost-effectiveness 
Mass production of ICs lowers production costs per unit, making electronic devices more affordable. Power efficiency. ICs often incorporate power-saving features and are designed for efficient energy consumption. Types of ICs. Analog ICs, designed to process continuous signals, such as those in audio amplifiers, voltage regulators, and operational amplifiers. Digital ICs, process discrete signals, working with binary data. Examples include microprocessors, memory chips, and digital signal processors. Mixed signal ICs, combine analog and digital functions, common in applications like data converters, ADCs, DACs, sensors, and communication devices. Classification based on scale of integration. SSI, small-scale integration of few gates or flip-flops per chip. MSI, medium-scale integration hundreds of gates or flip-flops per chip. LSI, large-scale integration thousands of gates or flip-flops per chip. VLSI, very large-scale integration millions of gates or flip-flops per chip. ULSI, ultra-large-scale integration billions of gates or flip-flops per chip. IC packages. ICs are housed in various packages, such as dual inline package, DIP, surface mount device, SMD, chip onboard, CB, and ball grid array, BGA. Application areas. Microprocessors and microcontrollers, control units in computers and embedded systems. Memory ICs, store and retrieve data, e.g., RAM, ROM, flash memory. Analog ICs, used in audio amplifiers, voltage regulators, and signal processing. Digital signal processors, DSPs process digital signals for applications like audio and video processing. Communication ICs, facilitate communication in devices like modems, network controllers, and wireless transceivers. Design and fabrication. ICs are designed using electronic design automation, EDA, tools, and the design is often prototyped using field programmable gate arrays, FPGAs. The fabrication process involves photolithography, etching, deposition, and other techniques to create the desired patterns on the semiconductor substrate. System on chip, SOC. SOX integrate multiple functions, including microprocessors, memory, and peripherals, into a single chip, reducing the need for external components. Integrated circuits have revolutionized the field of electronics, enabling the development of powerful, efficient, and compact electronic devices. They are a fundamental component in electronic systems, ranging from consumer electronics to industrial applications and beyond. Diodes are semiconductor devices with two terminals that allow current to flow in one direction only. They exhibit the property of rectification, meaning they can convert alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC, by allowing current flow in one direction while blocking it in the other. Diodes are crucial components in electronics and find applications in rectifiers, amplifiers, oscillators, signal demodulation, voltage regulation, and more. Here are key aspects of diodes. Basic structure. Diodes are typically made of semiconductor materials with two layers, the P-type, positively doped, and N-type, negatively doped, semiconductor materials. The junction between these P-type and N-type materials forms a P-N junction, which is the basic structure of a diode. Symbol and terminals. The symbol for a diode is an arrow pointing in the direction of conventional current flow. The arrow represents the direction of the forward current. Diodes have two terminals, the anode, positive, and the cathode, negative. Forward bias and reverse bias. Forward bias. When a voltage is applied across the diode in such a way that the current can flow easily, the diode is said to be forward biased. In this state, the diode has a low resistance and current can flow from the anode to the cathode. Reverse bias. When the voltage is applied in the opposite direction, making it difficult for current to flow, the diode is in a reverse bias state. In this state, the diode has a high resistance and only a small leakage current flows. Forward voltage drop, VF. In the forward bias state, a diode has a characteristic voltage drop known as the forward voltage drop, VF. Different types of diodes have different VF values. Reverse breakdown voltage. If the reverse bias voltage across a diode exceeds a certain threshold, the diode may enter a state of reverse breakdown, 
allowing significant reverse current to flow. This phenomenon is used in Zener diodes for voltage regulation. Types of diodes Rectifier diodes Used in rectifier circuits to convert AC to DC. Light-emitting diodes LEDs emit light when forward biased. Zener diodes Designed to operate in the breakdown region for voltage regulation. Schottky diodes Known for their fast switching characteristics. Varactor diodes Used in variable capacitance applications. Photodiodes Generate a current when exposed to light. Applications Diodes play a crucial role in rectifiers for power supply circuits, where they convert AC to DC. They are used in signal demodulation circuits for extracting information from amplitude-modulated AM signals. Diodes are essential components in logic gates, amplifiers, oscillators, and voltage regulators. Diode Characteristics Ideal diode Assumes zero forward voltage drop and infinite reverse breakdown voltage. In practice, real diodes have specific characteristics that should be considered in circuit design. Diode bridges. Diode bridges, such as the full wave bridge rectifier, are configurations of diodes used in rectification circuits. Diodes are fundamental building blocks in electronic circuits, and their unique electrical properties make them essential in various applications across different electronic devices and systems. Amplifiers are electronic devices or circuits that increase the amplitude or strength of an electrical signal. They are widely used in electronic systems to boost the power of signals, enabling them to drive loads such as speakers, antennas, or other devices. Amplifiers play a crucial role in various applications, including audio systems, communication systems, instrumentation, and more. There are different types of amplifiers, each designed for specific purposes, and they can be categorized based on the type of signal they amplify, e.g., audio, radio frequency, and their configuration. Here are key aspects of amplifiers. Amplification The primary function of an amplifier is to increase the amplitude or strength of a signal without changing its waveform or shape. The amount of amplification is often expressed as the gain, which is the ratio of the output signal amplitude to the input signal amplitude. Types of amplifiers Audio amplifiers Amplify signals in the audio frequency range. Commonly used in audio systems, such as in stereo amplifiers. Radio frequency RF amplifiers Amplify signals in the radio frequency range, often used in communication systems. Operational amplifiers op -amp specialized amplifiers with high gain and differential inputs used in a wide range of analog circuits. Power amplifiers, designed to provide high power signals to drive speakers or other loads. Commonly used in audio systems and RF transmitters. Low noise amplifiers, LNAs amplifiers designed to introduce minimal additional noise, often used in sensitive applications like radio receivers. Differential amplifiers, amplify the difference between two input signals, commonly used in instrumentation and communication systems. Instrumentation amplifiers, provide high-precision amplification, often used in measurement and control systems. Class A, B, AB, and C amplifiers. Different classes of amplifiers characterized by their operating point and efficiency. Class A amplifiers, for example, operate with a constant bias and provide a high-quality signal but are less power-efficient compared to Class B and Class AB amplifiers. Amplifier components. Active devices, components like transistors and vacuum tubes that provide gain to the signal. Passive components, resistors, capacitors, and inductors are often used in conjunction with active devices to form amplifier circuits. Feedback networks provide a portion of the output signal back to the input, influencing the amplifier's performance, stability, and gain. Gain Gain is a crucial parameter that defines how much an amplifier increases the signal amplitude. It is often expressed in decibels, dB. Bandwidth The frequency range over which the amplifier can effectively amplify signals without significant distortion. It is an important parameter, especially in applications with varying frequencies. Distortion Amplifiers should ideally produce an output signal that faithfully reproduces the input signal. Distortion measures how much the output signal deviates from the input signal, and minimizing distortion is a key design goal. Linear versus nonlinear amplifiers. 
Linear amplifiers produce an output signal that is a linear replica of the input signal. Nonlinear amplifiers introduce distortion, producing harmonics and intermodulation products. Classes of operation, e.g., class A, class B. The class of operation determines how an amplifier is biased and how it handles the signal during the entire waveform cycle. Amplifiers are essential components in electronic systems, providing the necessary signal strength for a wide range of applications. The choice of amplifier type depends on the specific requirements of the application, including the type of signal, power requirements, and desired performance characteristics. Active components play a crucial role in modern electronics, enabling the design of electronic circuits that perform a wide range of functions, from amplification and signal processing to logic operations and digital circuits. Their ability to control and manipulate electrical signals is fundamental to the operation of electronic devices and systems.